is this bit father of you guys? You better tell our fatty. I don't even know where Dad is. He said he'd be free. Does anybody know? Or Aunt Beth? She said she would have finished her shift by now, but I don't know. Well, we can always start without them. What do you think? Or will you just stop moaning? Were you for Auntie Jean? Lucky I'm here at all. You were lucky it was only me. You are a flaming menace. And you are a blinking liability. What is going on? Laughing boy by you fell off his bike. You hit me off. I did that too. Inches. You were right, or...? I offered to phone an ambulance. You should have called the police. You'd have been arrested twice in one week then. I was not arrested, right? You had to be rescued by a nurse. Can you both stop banging on? We're trying to be nice and formal for Auntie Jean and we look like a friggin' freak show. She won't want to come out of hospital at all now. And it doesn't help much. Him falling off his bike. And you leering through a window does? See? Bargain bronze, boy. Right, the war. You are am ready or not. Oh, at last, some intelligent conversation. Our school. Absolute nightmare, but we did geography earlier, played hide and seek. Couldn't find little buggers for an hour. <coughs> not joking now, right now, left the house. Oh, bugger, I'll be back now. Well, I won't be. This is a waste of bloody time. You can't go. You're in the middle of a meeting. I can't. I've had enough. I know what I'm not wanted. You know what I am. Like, Graf! Graf, you can still hear you. You're still on the phone. Well, like John Thomas. Oh, my God. Break on wheels. <laughs> Why are we all so hopeless? Well, not all of us. You and that song, spot on. Fantastic. And Beth Shea. Auntie Jean will be dead proud. Why don't I go after Gramps? Sort something out. Or something. Okay. Not sure I take much more of this, they gone feral. Hang on, where are they two, eh? I don't care. They're two in my eyes anyway. What about Auntie Jean's side? Have we told them? Aye, of course I have, but they're all off fit, man. They're on another level. You are? I have told them. Jean had a big barney with him, see? Uncle Reese especially, like, he went off to Australia to find himself. You remember his daughter used to play with her mad as a box of frogs. Oh, yeah, Hannah. Do she's well mad. Oh, I haven't got her number. I already told her. Oh, right, OK. Oh, it's Miss Beth. About bloody time, man. Can we talk? Dad, will you ring Beth while I do this? Right, Hannah, she's my cousin, isn't she? This ain't good magic, but honest now, they've not spoke for years. Don't care. I'm texting her anyway. Hi, Hannah. This is just a quarter, your crazy cousin. No problem, but we're doing a thing for Auntie Jean. A sort of glass door party. Call me. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Hi, Beth. Guess who I've just texted? Who? Oh, look, it doesn't matter. I'm really sorry, but they've called me in for another bloody shift. There's 60 hours this week. I may as well work for the bloody SAS. So obviously I'm not going to make the Zoom call, but I really need to speak to Dad. Is he there? Well, obviously I know he's not there, but his phone's engaged. So can I speak to him or...? Oh, it's, it's all mad, you Beth, honest. Everyone's flouncing in and out. He's on his way home, I think, on the bike. Well, flouncing on his bike? That's not a good luck, is it? No. Oh, don't worry. Uh, I was Auntie Jean, Beth. Well, that's what I was calling about. So, somebody's going to ring Dad today, like a, a doctor or a staff nurse. So, Auntie Jean... Beth? Beth, you still there? Is Auntie Jean okay, Beth? And they need to speak to an ex of kin, so Dad or... Because he's the older brother. Look, shit, I've got to go. Beth! Beth! Oh, my God. I can't deal with this. What if she's dead? Oh my god, I'm going to have to phone Rob. No chance, but he won't answer. Too busy straddling his bike like you perv. Rob! Rob! Shit, this is in his pocket. Rob, you need to answer. He's about Auntie Jean, quick. What a numpty. Shit, what are we going to do? Will you and the grown-up think of something? 
Me? Since when? Since I decided that you were the next of kin. Well, if Rob can't do it, it's going to have to be you. Oh, wait. It's the next oldest. So, Gramps. Oh, no. I don't know anything about next of kin. What about Uncle Reese? He lives in frippin' Australia, for God's sake. No, wait. It's Hannah. Hannah's the next of kin. She's the granddaughter, and I just rang her about a flippin' glass to party. I can't do it. Oh, my God. I can't do this. Easy now. Don't panic. And ask my dad. But Uncle Rob will get back on us. He'll have fallen off by now anyway. And Anna's not been in touch for ten years. She ain't gonna want to say anything. Shit. It's her. I can't answer it, can I? You wanted her number? Dad, oh, seen Uncle Rob or what? My brother Rob is a very stupid man. He's also a very stubborn man, right? So that's why he's right into the top of the records to prove to Gene that he can still do it. Well, he can't. He's got to do something for the family first. For Auntie Jean, OK? Well, he thinks he's doing it. Well, he's not, right? So you have to do it. Something's happened to Auntie Jean, man. They've got to speak to next the king before... Well, be... Oh, you know what I mean? <sighs> it's Rob. It's got to be Rob. Well, we can't get in touch with him. No one the flipping back. Come on, Dad. Pull your finger out, Lou. All right, all right. I'm on the way. I'll sort it out now. What a shed. Anything will start. Such a shed, man. Andy Jean. Guess where I am? <laughs> right, first time. Halfway up the Rickers. And I haven't fallen off. Well, I never have. Well, pushed, yes. <laughs> Hit off. <laughs> Often. Chased by a police car. <laughs> never. Shot by a pink gun. Once. <laughs> when you come out, when this thing, all these things have gone. We'll come up here. We'll go to the top and have a shout. All of us. One big shout. When these things have gone. See you at the top. You gotta answer it, Mush! I can't! What do I say? Just tell her the truth, man! Oh, yeah! Hello, Hannah! Just wanna let you know the gran hasn't got long left to live and I need you to say a few words on her deathbed. Yeah, that's gonna work. I'll ring her now, right? Don't worry. Oh, hiya, Gramps. Any sign or...? I'm halfway up at Rickosh now. No sign of him anywhere. His little legs must have been pumping like Billyo. He's probably gone up the top. He's probably up there now. Having a lolly or a shit down or something. I'll phone back in a minute. <laughs> Gramps? No, 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 no. Right, off we go. <laughs> oh, hiya, Beth. Oh, it's crazy down here, honest. How's Auntie Jean? Is she okay? No, no, she's fine. She's, well, better than fine. She's been discharged. That's why I needed to get hold of Dad. You know, they need to make sure that there's somebody there to, like, take care of her, I guess. Otherwise, God knows what'll happen to her. She'll end up in one of those giant tent fridges things. She's coming out? Why didn't you say that in the fifth and first place? Uh, I did. No, you didn't. Everyone thinks that she's dying. Well, that's not my fault. And now your father's missing and Gramps is out looking for him. Oh, well, that's another bloody disaster waiting to happen, isn't it? Jesus, do you think this happens to normal families or just bloody families in the valleys? Oh, my God! Is that bad? Are you talking now with Oh, my God, I'm not doing this. You better tell that fatty that he can't keep using you to teach those kids of his. I think Uncle Reese has the right idea. What, Reese the Shrimp? And that weird-ass daughter of his? What's her name? What have they got to do with anything? Uh, Dad's asked Hannah to come to Jean's glass door party. 
Oh, for f**k's sake. That's all we need. Do you know? I'm near the top light, but I can't get any signal. Blinking heck. We live in a beautiful country. Me glaw of the netherlands and gaw our navy. I do da call him I give an avon calvary. Ar gluiza mavi, ar da alwadi. Ana vena dana guaid, a guaid ar gal, a three.